हेलो माय डियर वेदांत हू नीड इंग्लिश वॉरियर्स वेलकम अबाउट दिस इज योर कैप्टन श्रेयस एंड टुडे आई एम हियर टू टॉक अबाउट मॉक टेस्ट एवरीबडी टॉक्स अबाउट मॉक टेस्ट बट देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स व्हिच रन इन सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स माइंड लाइक व्हेन टू गिव इट व्हाट टू डू बिफोर व्हाट टू डू आफ्टरवर्ड्स हाउ टू गिव इट व्हाट टू डू इफ द स्कोर डज नॉट इंप्रूव वेदर टू गिव ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन सो मेनी डाउट्स ऑल ऑफ दिस इन दिस शॉर्ट क्रिस्प वीडियो बाय योर कैप्टन श्रेयस सर एंड remember mock tests are so so important that even if you complete your syllabus but if you are not used to mock tests then your score can't be improved then you cannot expect a good rank in your competitive exam now whatever tips and tricks that i'm going to give you and answer all your questions is not just what i am saying but also what the toppers are saying you take all the toppers be it aims be it afmc be it neat all of them have certain things in common and i have collected all those things in this video for you so that you don't have to watch other videos regarding mock test and having trained all such toppers be it for neat be it for je be it for kvpy and all such exams where lakhs and lakhs of students give the examination you have to stand out among the crowd because you want a good rank and then you want a good medical college so this video is all about how to plan for the mock test and answer all your doubts which are there in your mind but still if there are certain things which did not get answered in the video please feel free to comment it in the comment section and before we begin do not forget to show your love for the captain by smashing that like button and subscribing to the vedantu neat english channel so let's begin starting off with your how many mock tests to give ideally you should at least give 20 mock tests before you write your neat examination 40 is what would be really good anything more than that very good so 20 is bare minimum 40 is what would be needed to score really top ranks in the neat examination talking about how many pyq mock tests you should give that means the tests which were actually conducted by nta or nmc so how many of those so at least 3 to 5 usually these are given towards the end that is in the month of march or april not before that but don't give too many previous year mock tests because most of the questions you would have already studied while studying the chapter or in the youtube lectures then talking about when to give these mock tests well the part syllabus mock tests which are based on a certain unit or maybe 11th syllabus or half syllabus those you give it between november and january usually before that you have your class tests after jan you can start giving your full syllabus tests till the month of april you may also switch to part syllabus tests in the month of march or april because sometimes you want to brush up on certain topics or units so that time you give that particular part syllabus test otherwise you stick to full syllabus test when should be the timing of these mock tests you should give it exactly the same time when your actual neat exam will be conducted because then your biological clock will be set if you are used to giving mock tests in the morning or in the night then you might face a lot of difficulty in the actual exam because you might feel sleepy because you sleep during afternoon so your biological clock should be tuned and you should do the exact same things what you would do on the day before and after so that you are mentally accustomed to it can i give the full syllabus mock test without completing the syllabus strictly no but if you have completed 75% or higher syllabus then you can start with few full syllabus mock tests if you lose too many marks or you feel become less confident please stop it immediately till you complete at least 80 to 90% of the syllabus then how many mock tests should you give per week ideally you should start with one mock test per week if you have been doing one mock test in every two or three weeks then slowly bring it down to weekly mock test then increase it to two mock tests per week after feb and then after march start taking three mock tests per week don't go more than 3 because you need one day to revise to learn the additional theory 
to cover up your mistakes and analyze the mock test. So three is the maximum number that happens towards the end. Should you give the mock test online or offline? It is recommended that you give as many mock tests as possible online because you save on traveling time and all the money that you spend in traveling unless you are already enrolled in an offline institute and there is no other option. But it is also recommended that you give at least three to five actual mock tests in the center. Maybe you can join some test series or join an offline institute which just offers, you know, just the test series and not more than five. With five mock tests, you get a good hang of how the actual test will be. What to do before the mock test? Well, it might sound strange, but actually don't sit and study till the last minute. Few hours before you should stop studying because that's what you would be actually doing on the day. You won't be studying on the last day of the exam. You will be actually relaxing. So do the same thing. Do not study till the last minute and also give that break which you give before the examination. So that is what would be needed in case you are giving the exam on Sunday. So keep that Sunday as an off day for your refreshment without any distractions. What to do during the mock test? Well, during the mock test, no matter what happens, do not get up from the seat. Either choose a very silent, quiet place so that nobody disturbs. Turn off all the distractions, your notifications and Tell your parents, your siblings, your people around you that listen, I'm practicing preparing for need. So please don't disturb me for the next three, four hours. Next, what to do after the mock test? This is very important. You need to analyze what were the mistakes. Now the mistakes can be categorized as calculation mistake or maybe you did not understand what was there in the question or you did not complete the question because of lack of time or maybe you misunderstood the question or the option itself. And sometimes you did not study that topic, so you have to study afterwards. Maybe it was a very stupid, silly mistake or maybe there was a conceptual mistake. Again, you need to read the theory. So all the things that were wrong, try to correct it in the next one to three days and try to read, watch the lecture or cover up those mistakes so that you do not repeat again. If you repeat a mistake, that means you need to be extra, extra careful in the actual examination. Are there any tips to increase the speed in the mock test? Well, the simple answer is there is no simple trick, but you have to experiment. You have to try different variations. Start with physics first, start with botany first, start with all easy questions first, start with all difficult questions first, start with easy, then go to hard, then go to medium, or try with easy questions of biology, then difficult questions of physics, then go to medium questions of chemistry or easy questions of chemistry. Try out all combinations and see which works the best for you. Everyone has their own unique style. Remember that. If marks in the class test do not increase, then what to do? Well, in one topic, if you score certain marks and in the next topic, you score certain marks and they do not increase does not mean anything. It just means that you are able to understand till this level in this much time when the test was conducted. When the revision happens, maybe you had enough time for revision, enough time to grasp the topic and maybe that time your marks will be higher. The reason of worry will be in the full syllabus test if your marks are consistently dropping or not increasing. That's when you should worry. But in the class test, if it is not increasing, it's okay. You just need to work on that chapter a little bit higher. Nothing to worry. Then should I give the old mock tests again? Well, you can, but not many. Because giving old mock tests again and again, it will consume a lot of time. But there will be few mock tests which would be really worthy of giving. Maybe two, three of them, give those. And out of all the mock tests, there will be some questions which were really important or very tricky or the teacher discussed it saying that this was something which you should note. Only those selective few questions try to do that. Then does Vedantu have some free or paid mock tests? Of course, yes. In fact, on this very channel, if you go down in the description box and join the telegram, you will see on Sundays, we will give free mock tests to all the NEET students, right? And also on Sunday, you will see the link coming up on the YouTube community. Talking about are there paid mock tests as well? Definitely in the NEET crash course, you will see there are mock tests with discussions, with analysis and all the different variations like 
some mock tests being very lengthy, some being very easy. And you need to know how to tackle all these kind of mock tests because if the level is the same, then you will not learn. But sometimes the one paper is hard, one paper is easy, one paper is very lengthy, one paper is very calculative. How do you react to it? That is what is going to decide your number of marks. So make sure you are a part of the Telegram group as well as the YouTube community so that at least you get the free mock test. Okay. And try to give it as sincerely as possible using the tips and tricks which I have told you because these are not just my tricks alone. These are the things which the toppers have done. And if you want to be one of the toppers and you want to be one of them and next year you want to come over here and give that talk, I would be so happy and glad. So thank you for watching by smashing that like button. You can express your love and also subscribe to the channel for more such quality content. This is your Captain Shreyas. Thank you so much, my dear warriors. Asala Vesta.